What's up, everybody? How's it going? Hi. So we'll be starting shortly here. Um, I have slow mode turned on the chat just so I can see your messages because I've been missing some people's messages because it's just moving too quickly. So this way you guys can send a message every 60 seconds and I will be able to see more messages from different people so I can respond hopefully to everybody. Hi everybody. Hi Bernardo. Hi Jaeger. Hi Agnes. Hi Andrew. Hi Zamzam. Hi Nathan. Hi Cross Country. Hi guys. Um, are we going to build your idea today? Cross Country? Possibly. I love your idea of the swamp or pond in front of the in front of Main Street. We're going to work on the volcano today and I'll tell you guys more about that uh, in a second. So, hi Maddie. Hi Gavin. Hi. Hello. I'm great. How are you guys? <laughs> Um, Mas Maxim, please. Hi. So yes, it is Wednesday and we should have some time to run over to Ivory City and get some of you guys moved in. So we'll do that at the end of the stream. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. I'm designer slash gamer. And today we are building Bricksburg. Hi, look at that beautiful raptor. How are you getting through the glass, buddy? What the heck? I thought this glass was like solid. Look at his head, it's coming right through the glass. Who's responsible for this? Why isn't the glass solid? How you guys doing? Hi. So, Zam Zam, good question. We are not live streaming Lego Bounty Hunter anymore because I thought I explained this in a comment, sorry. Um, because I can't really use the footage, so I ended up refilming everything. So, that's just going to be a weekly episode. The episodes may not come Saturday, but they will come during the week at some point. Um, I'll try to get them done for Saturday morning, but I can't always guarantee that because they take a lot of time to do. So, weekly, weekly. Either Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. You'll see a new episode of Lego Bounty Hunter every week, but it's not going to be a live stream because it just didn't really work. 
I was hoping it would work, but it just really doesn't because I have to sit down and prepare that prepare all my thoughts and then do all the filming and it just didn't work for a live stream but I hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> and we're still gonna be live streaming of course building yeah so hi I have slow mode turned on just so I can see your comments and I can actually respond to them so yeah oh Jaeger yes I did see your builds did you make the dinosaur builds on discord hopefully we can get those added next week this week we're working on a uh, this week we're working on the volcano. I can't wait. We're gonna put the volcanic laboratory in too. I'm great, thank you for asking, Agnes. We have actual raptors, yes. It's so exciting. Max loves raptors, right Max? <laughs> so we need to figure out, we're, right now we're in the raptors research facility. We gotta figure out where to put the volcano. I have a couple of ideas, you guys, where we wanna put this. I'm gonna, we're gonna go outside here. We're gonna close this door though, because we don't want the raptors to escape in case they get into that room in there. I'm thinking the volcano should go, okay, so this is the front. I'm thinking the volcano should go over here somewhere to the right, because it can't go to the left. We have the water over there. I'm thinking, I don't know, what do you guys think about like back here? Let's uh, let's switch to uh, vampire mode and let's fly around. And let me show you guys where I'm thinking of doing the volcano. Hello Daniel, how's it going? How do I get your models? You can go to my website, designer slash gamer.com and go to um, file, what is it, file sharing? And you can download Bricksburg there. Uh, and there's a tutorial on that page on how you can get it into your game, but it has to be the PC version it does not work with other platforms Build a fence between the main street and Raptor research facility. Oh, yeah, for sure For sure. We're gonna do that. We need to find what I want to do is put the big stuff down first You know like volcanoes and big buildings like the research facility stuff like that and then once we have all that stuff down Then we're gonna build the little details. My day is great. How about you? 00FY33YT This is easier to see your comments you guys when the chat's only going <laughs> one per minute. It's much easier Kurt you haven't watched my streams in forever. Well get on it. You have a lot of catching up to do <laughs> uh, How do you long unlock the vampire character? I don't remember You have to do some kind of quests for it. I'm not sure Raptors can open doors. Yes, they can. My day's great. How about you? Helena says, make a series called Lego Worlds How to Build. I do have a designing and building in Lego Worlds series. And I do pretty much go through everything in that. So if you look at that series, it's called Designing and Building. I go through the process of doing almost everything, actually. And we built an entire hotel. We did landscaping. There's a lot of information there. I might add to that series in the future, but there's quite a bit there for you to watch. So that's there. Amazing. You like it? Good. Okay. I'm thinking we're going to put the, let me get into the point of view of the bat here. So this is main street. I'm thinking maybe the best place for the volcano. Cause we need space for the innovation center over here. And then I want to do like a Mosasaurus Bay. Maybe that's gonna go over there. So, you know, you guys, the best place for the volcano is probably back here. So what I've done is I've copied um, a bunch of the volcanic landscape from the tutorial world. And it should actually work out pretty well. So let's actually uh, drop back down to the ground here. Build the land of Mordor and build Mount Saibo on it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We might do that someday. We just might do that someday. Okay, let's switch out of vampire mode. Get back to Max here. He's our builder. Where's Max? Where's Max? Max, where are you? They're alphabetical, but I always forget like what, <laughs> like where he is. All right, we're gonna spin this guy really quick. Do you remember Chai0073? I do, you changed your name. All right, welcome back. After you're done with Jurassic World, you should make an Indiana Jones temple. Maybe. That's a good idea. You guys, the best place to 
put your ideas for building. I have a little thing here. The best place to put your ideas is on Discord. That's where we keep track, and if I can't think of an idea of what to build, which hasn't been happening lately, I go to Discord, and I look at your ideas there. So put your ideas there. In the chat, they're just going to scroll away and be gone forever. Um, okay, so let's try and... I moved it. Do we have volcanic? I'm pretty sure I moved them over. Yes, look at this. So I copied like the entire landscape. Well, not the entire landscape, but a big part of the landscape from the from the tutorial world. Yeah, we probably will make, well, I shouldn't say probably. We will definitely will make some Star Wars stuff in Bricksburg. But we'll probably do that closer to the release of the Star Wars game. So look for that probably in the fall. We'll try to time that with the Star Wars game. We're going to do a lot with Star Wars. So that's going to happen for sure. Just not until closer to the Star Wars Lego video game releases. Okay, here's the volcano, you guys. Check it out. It's beautiful. We're going to put it... I was thinking about building like a massive, massive volcano, but I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll stick to like this one. But we need it to be a little higher up than the regular landscape. Because we're going to do like lots of hills and stuff. So we're probably going to put it like right up here. And it's going to need a lot of room. So maybe like right back here somewhere. Let's go up a little higher actually. Like that. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I hope it's like spewing lava out like it is in the tutorial world. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So basically we're going to piece together these like parts of the landscape and then we're going to fill in all the gaps. It's not going to look great until we like really fill in the gaps, but it should look pretty good. Um, Agnes, yes, you have asked for that museum <laughs> several times and I remember, so we probably will build that someday. But remember, you guys, the best place to put your ideas is on Discord. Um, you can copy the Triceratops skeleton. Yes, um, I think I think I did. Well, I'm pretty sure it's one of these. I'm pretty sure I copied it. So let me turn off overlap and let's just see. We're going to build some mounds and stuff around this, but I just wanted to like build in a nice landscape here. So maybe actually we'll rotate this and put it down. And we have these cool, uh, those cool giant stone heads too. Look at those on the right side there. Don't those look cool? So I'm gonna drop in a bunch of these and then we're gonna try to like fill in the gaps between. Maybe this will actually be ground level down here and then we'll have the mountain or the hills around it. Cause there's that water in there. Yeah, let's put this over here. It's gonna be like a big jungly area back here. Yeah, kind of like that. And what else do we have? Which one is that? Is that the one I just did? Yeah, that's the one I just did, okay. So let's try this one now. There's a skeleton. There's the Triceratops skeleton right there, actually. It might actually be easier to just make a big landscape and put these things in, because I don't know if this is going to work this way. You know, like trying to line all that up. Okay, let's do this. Let's raise and lower. And we're going to change it to. Let's do the peak one. And then we need to change the material. How do I do that? Where's the material? Oh, right there, okay. So let's do volcanic rock, dark stone, basalt. I think it's basalt, right? Yeah. Basalt. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna click on this. We're gonna raise and lower, and we're gonna see how that works. Uh, Jaeger, um, can you post the Star Wars Death Star on your website? Um, it's already there. It's on Discord. 
So you can get it on Discord. If you go to the Discord thread, uh, model sharing, it's in there. You'll find it. Okay, let's see. How can we... Oh, you know, I can't... I'm going to have to paint the ground first. Hang on, you guys. Let's paint the ground first. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Where's basalt? Dark stone, cave stone, stone, basalt. Okay. We're going to make the brush giant. And we're going to paint a bunch of the ground. It's as big as the brush gets. Oh, well. Well, uh, hi from the UK, Andrew. How's it going? Okay, so if we paint the ground, maybe I'll leave some of it green. That could look interesting when we're raising the terrain. We're gonna paint the ground, we're gonna raise the terrain, and we're gonna create some volcanic, some volcanic mountains and stuff, and some beautiful, some beautiful scary volcanic terrain with lava. I really like in the tutorial world how the lava flows are like coming down from the volcano and like just running along the hills and stuff. I think that looks cool. You like the volcano? Yeah? Hi Joel. Do you play Minecraft? Yes. I play Minecraft every Wednesday and Saturday on Twitch. So you can follow me on Twitch. You can follow me on Twitch and you can see those videos. I also have a playlist of Minecraft on my main YouTube channel. You only you you only use the circular brush. You only use a circular brush or I only do. <laughs> um I don't know that the square brush is any better. No, I like the way that the uh, circular brush looks better. Looks a little more natural. You know? I think it looks a little more natural. Okay, we're gonna just get all the way around here, around the outside. I'm leaving some of the green in there because it could look kind of cool. We'll see. Could, could look kind of cool. Do you play Ark Survival? Nope. Never played it. It's a dinosaur game, right? Jaeger says, I played Lego in 2016. You played Lego Worlds? Or what? In 2016. Ooh. Okay. Let's try raising some of the terrain now, you guys. Oh, good. The volcano is spewing out lava. Yes. I was worried maybe it wouldn't, but it is. Yeah, because if you put the lava material down, it'll start to do that thing where, you know... But I love in the tutorial world how the volcano is actually erupting the entire time. I wish we could get that somehow, but I don't know. I don't know how it does that. It must be some kind of mechanic that's built into the world that doesn't exist. But it's really cool how it does that in the volcanic world. Okay, can we make this bigger? All right, we need to do, we want to raise and lower. Wait, no, not add and remove, raise and lower. I think that'll be the best way. When I'm making landscape, I use a combination of different tools to make it look random. How big does that get? Oh, that gets pretty big. And then we smooth out things and do all kinds of stuff. So let's try this though. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, we're gonna have to smooth it out because it's just gonna be a bunch of, you know, maybe the Maybe the best way is to do add and remove and change the shape to the tool that we need. Let me see what different options we have. We have sphere, wedge, 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 cylinder, torus. The half smear might smear. <laughs> the half sphere might be good to start, but then again, that maybe not be big enough. Because we could. We could use that to at least fill in some spots. What do you guys think? How do you do landscaping when you do it? Have you played Lego Incredibles? Yes, there's a whole playlist on my channel of Lego Incredibles. Yo, designer, how do you record Lego Worlds? I'm having trouble with it crashing my game. Um, I use OBS Studio. 
My game crashes sometimes too, but I'm not really sure what causes that. But I have a two PC setup for recording. I used to record on a single computer, but now I record on two computers. So it shouldn't crash your game. What kind of graphics card are you using and what software? Hi VT. DSG, is Mount Saibo going to be in the middle of the T-Rex kingdom? Ooh, maybe. I'm not sure. Do you think it should be? Let's go back to raise and lower. And we're just going to try to raise our terrain up to match the volcano. And see how that goes. And then we'll smooth it out. It's going to look really like, you know, like hilly and weird at first, but if we smooth it out, it should look nice. It's gonna take a little bit, you guys. So, uh... <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the landscaping show today. You know, maybe it would be... <laughs> keep changing my mind. Maybe it would be better to put in more of these pieces of the landscape and just fill in the middle parts. I don't know. Landscaping is not easy in this game. At least I haven't figured out a way to do it easily. You know. You just gotta fill in. You gotta fill in all these spaces here with extra and then smooth it out, I guess. It takes forever, but it does look really cool. You know, I landscaped the entire Jurassic World area when I re when I built the Jurassic World near Ivory City, so it takes a while. I'm using an RX 580. Oh, okay. I know there are definitely issues with uh, AMD cards when capturing video footage. Um, there's driver issues with AMD cards. People have issues with them all the time. I have an RX, what do I have? My main card is a 2080 Ti um, that I use for gaming, but I also have, I also have an uh, AMD card for my other computer and I can't capture a video the same way. Um, it's the 5700 XT. So I know there's some issues with AMD cards and drivers, but we could talk about this on Discord too, because I'm sure people, other people in the chat are gonna want me to talk about LEGO Worlds. <laughs> we need LEGO Worlds too, yes we do. I love Super Mario Odyssey when Mario says DS, when Mario says it, yeah? You're gonna make a YouTube channel, cool. Do it, why not? Okay, we're just gonna fill in the space. Maybe I'll change to a different shape here in a second. Yeah, and if you guys know a better way to do this, feel free to give me your ideas. You know, like, maybe if I just hold down the mouse button, ooh, hey, look at that. I forgot you could do that. You can hold down your mouse button and just move and it's gonna fill in spots for you. Now, of course it doesn't look great yet, you know, it looks very like, <laughs> like a bunch of weird little mounds, but we'll fill it in. Sorry, it's dark again, you guys. I really wish you could just like, the one thing, if they didn't change anything else, if they could just make it so you could keep it one time of day, it would make building so much easier, I think. Um, yes, I have played Lego Star Wars. Remember, you guys can go to my channel and you can search. You can search on my channel and you can see all the games I've played. And I have playlists for all those games, like Lego Star Wars, Lego The Incredibles. They are all there right on my channel. 
How's it going, Jonathan? Um... DSG, you know that in Jurassic Park, there is a reason that Mount Saibo isn't close to Main Street because of multiple health and safety regulations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. We have to put it a little closer though, just because we don't have a ton. I don't want to make Jurassic World like, you know, too big because we need space for other things in Bricksburg. So it's going to be a little close to Main Street just for space reasons, but yeah. I totally get why you wouldn't want to put a volcano near the main part. I get it. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold down the mouse button and we're going to go along the edge and just expand out. And try and do different levels here. And go like in there. That looks good. Try and blend that together. Oh yeah, it looks neat, look at that. And then if we use the smooth tool, we can make it look not like a brain. <laughs> Cause right now it looks like a brain. <laughs> but that's all stuff you can do later. You can smooth it out. At least it's kind of starting to work a little bit. And what if we go like all the way down in here and do like another layer like this. Basically I'm just trying to create layers layers of mounds. So we have some variation in the height of the volcano here. And then maybe if we do a different shape, we can make it not look like a giant brain. Because right now I feel like it looks like a brain. <laughs> It's looking cool though. Are you going to play Disney Infinity? I'm not sure, maybe we'll play it again someday. We did play through it for I think like 10 episodes, maybe. I'm not sure how many actually made it from Twitch to YouTube, but I have a playlist of Disney Infinity. DSJ, I put Minecraft models on your website. Oh, Minecraft models. Oh, thank you. Today's my birthday. I love that I am watching you on this nice day. Happy birthday! Can we get a happy birthday to our friend Miro the Animal Lover plays in the chat? And hello, Eknel. Hi, Ahmad. How's it going? Hi, Het Challenges. Hi. <laughs> okay, so what if... Oh, it looks like so much like a brain. It's the brain volcano, you guys. Let me just fill in this spot here. Oh, that's better. The edges were a little bit jagged right there. It's very brainish. I mean, what other shapes can we get from this? Um, I don't really want any of those. Definitely don't want a sphere. I don't think a wedge is really gonna look right. <laughs> it's gonna look way too... Maybe we'll try some of the raise and lower now. What shapes do we have for this? I guess we'll have to do the peak. Because none of the shapes look organic. What if we do... Maybe the best way is to smooth it out first. I don't know, let's try this. We're gonna try adding in some peaks. We'll try adding in some peaks in some areas. Just to change it up a little. And then we'll smooth it out and see how it looks. Just trying to get that nice random look, you know? which is not always easy to achieve. Maybe I'll make it like a big peak over here. I think it's getting a little more random. You know, these little brain, now that I think about it, 
these little like brain shaped areas might be a good spot for the lava. Let's try the smooth tool. That's better. That's a little less brainish. Yeah. Okay, then this is my thinking too. So let me show you guys this. Uh... Oh yeah, that looks good. It's helping to blend it. Look at that. Nice. It's gonna be Mount Saibo in no time. Okay, so check this out. What if we take the paint tool and we need the smallest brush possible? You know, like teeny, 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 teeny. And then we need to get lava. Maybe not the smallest possible, but we do need a small brush. A circle. Let's make it like this big. And let's see what it looks like if we were to have like a lava spill that goes down here and like down through here. <gasps> That's cool. Maybe the lava gathers down here and it goes up through here. Oh, that's neat, you guys. I like that. And maybe it comes through here. Goes down in there. This is gonna look really cool at night, too. Lava passageways. And maybe the lava like pools up right here. Mount Saibo. Neat. What do you guys think? You like it? You are the best Lego player I have ever seen. You think so? Really? <laughs> That's nice of you to say. <laughs> Andrew says, hey, Brandon, did you make my lab? Your lab? Um, remind me what that is again. I do have city skylines. I made the city of golden in Lego world. Cool. That sounds cool. You love Jonathan? Great. Bye, Bernardo. Thanks for joining. You want me to build Elle's house? Yeah, we probably could. I saved it. It's in my, uh, it's in my models. I saved models so we could build it here in Bricksburg. We need to improve it though. We need to improve and expand her house so it's a little more exciting. Speaking of exciting, I love the way this lava looks on the volcano. This looks great. Okay, then maybe the brain landscape is actually gonna work out for us. Because <laughs> it, it creates lava channels. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Not really. Just kind of happened that way. Look at that. That's perfect. Okay, then maybe the lava will pull up right here. So I copied the volcanic laboratory and we're gonna be putting that in here somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere in here. Oh, cool. Okay, this part's a little bit too, I'll have to fix that though. It looks a little too. Okay, so maybe the lava comes down here and spills into this area. Yes. Down there. Oh, we got a spot we have to fill in right there. That looks weird. Okay, can you do... Um... the lava material there it is okay let me change the shape and let's see how this works what if we try doing this let's make it smaller and try putting in like the lava material this way let's see maybe even small okay now let's go 
What will that look like? Oh, cool. <gasps> Neat. Yeah, that's cool. So another way to add lava instead of painting, you can also use the add tool like that. I think my character is glitching out, you guys. Yeah, I like the paint tool a little better. It's just easier to sort of control what you want to be lava, but this is working okay. What do you guys think? Volcano is better than the first one. It's so amazing and beautiful. It looks better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My lab that monitors the volcano. Remember when I s still used Carvo? Oh, yeah, you're, you're Dr. Carvo. Okay, hi. Yeah, sorry, you guys change your names and it's really hard to keep up. Hi, Dr. Carvo. Yes. Yes, we are building the laboratory. I get why you are called designer slash gamer because you can design. Yes. <laughs> when you're done building Jurassic Park, can you continue on Area 51? Yes. So maybe not right when we're done with Jurassic Park. But we'll keep working on Area 51. I also want to go back to Ninjago City District. So we'll be going back to different parts of Bricksburg and refining things as we go along. What? We should put a prop in here. I feel like it needs a prop. I don't know what. Maybe it needs this. Let me try putting in one of these landscapes and we're just gonna try and fit it in. I think we can do it. Try putting this because this has the Triceratops uh, prop. Yeah, can't we just like fit it in here and build some hills there? I think we could. Let's try it. Totally, we can fit that in. Let me try a different one now next to it. What is this? Whoa, this one's cool. Oh, we're gonna be right up next to the f research facility, but that's okay. What if we like, can I line that up? Probably not. I didn't really line them up when I was copying them. You get to go down a little bit like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 this could look cool. Yeah, we need a little sp space for the Triceratops there, but... Okay, let's try that. <gasps> Ooh, wait, that's like lava right there. We need to put that on a different side of the volcano, I think. Can we put it like right next to it? There we go, so that's the lava flow area. Let's try and line that up. I think that could work, like that? Yes! Perfect! Look at that! Oh, nice. Okay, let's try putting a couple more of these in, then I'm gonna spin the sky, because I can't see anything. Which one was that? Um, maybe this could go over here, actually. See if we can line that up to this one. Oh, is that the same one? Just flip-flopped? Mm, yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's put it over here. Like that, maybe. We're gonna have too many of those little heads, though. The little stone heads, and I don't want too many of those. 
the, the, pretty much all these copies have the stone head in it. <laughs> Dang it. I should have copied one without it. I guess I can remove the stone heads. That's fine. It's too many stone heads. Ooh, this is cool. Let me rotate it. Yeah, that could work pretty well. We'll just fill in the spots in between. Okay. Now let me spin this guy really quick, because I can't see anything. And then I'll check the chat. Um, I'm not sure if we'll make Mount Saiba part of T-Rex Kingdom or not yet. We will see. Hi, Angela Brick. DSG, play the Animal Crossing theme. We're not playing Animal Crossing right now. We could play Animal Crossing. We play the Animal Crossing theme during Animal Crossing, right? <laughs> Look at the caveman. All right, let's try and fill in some of these spots here. This is fun. Do you guys like landscaping? I like it. It's kind of relaxing. Um, why don't we do, let's make this dome much bigger. And let's change the material to the salt. Let's do let's do dark stone because we already have a bunch of the basalt. Oh, cool. Gotta fill some of this in. I don't think we want too much water, but we could create a little pond like that. That's kind of neat. Fill this in over here. Yeah. There we go. That looks cool. I think we'll fill this in. We're breaking some of those little skeletons, but that's okay because we can put more in later. Okay. There's the Triceratops skeleton. Why don't we raise the landscape over here a little bit? Raise and lower. Oh, we're going to have to paint the ground. Let's paint it in the dark stone color. I like the way that looks. Dark stone. And we're going to want this brush. Cool. Alright, now we're gonna raise the landscape. We'll create like a mound over here. Raising lower tool is a little bit tricky. Yeah, that's working. That's working, that's cool. All right. I'll bring this up too then. I love the Triceratops uh, skeleton right there. That's neat. Hello, Moimus. How's it going? Moimus is our very talented Lego builder friend. Moimus made the UFOs that I used in LEGO Area 51. 
He's extremely talented, and we've used many of his models in Bricksburg. Can you play Harry Potter Lego? I have played Le Harry Potter Lego. If you go on my channel, there's a playlist of Lego Harry Potter. We didn't quite finish it, so maybe we'll finish it someday. I bet with new Lego Star Wars, I will play it more than LCU, Lego City Undercover. I've played that a lot, yeah? Yeah, I can't wait till Lego Star Wars comes out. We're gonna be playing that on this channel for sure. That's, is that, does that come out in October? I think it's October. Just trying to create some randomness in our landscape here. Nice little ridges and stuff. Of course, the sun's going down again. <laughs> Happens a lot here. Oh, I raised the lava. We gotta figure out what to do right here. Oh, that looks good. Huh? Maybe we create like a little pond right there. At least it looks a little more natural now. Yeah. Guys, it's looking good. I can't believe how much we've gotten done today. That looks like a brain. <laughs> we gotta change that. <laughs> Um, welcome back, Andrew. Moima says, I'm fine. This might be a little late, but thanks for showcasing the agent's tower. Of course. <laughs> no, you're, you're welcome. Thank you for building it. That's incredible. And where is it? It's in, it's in, it's that way. <laughs> Bricksburg is amazing. We have so many awesome buildings here from you guys. You guys are such talented builders. Brandon, when you make my facility, can you place two monitor stations next to each other and two more of the other side along with an area and a car park that leads to the volcano monitor sites? That's very specific. <laughs> Dr. Carvo. Um, I can't guarantee any of that. But I will guarantee you that I'll be putting in the volcanic facility. And by the way, great idea. Um, have you played Yokai Watch 2? No, I haven't. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out where we can put the facility, you guys. Here's the facility. Did I copy the... Oh. Okay, so... If the main... If Main Street is here, maybe the facility should be, like, right here at the base of the volcano. It's like the same size as the volcano. <laughs> the volcano in our other Jurassic World is a lot bigger than this one. So maybe I won't put it there because it's going to block the volcano. Let's put it behind it. What if we put it like right here? And it sticks out a little bit and we can build some rocks around it. Yeah, that'll look cool. Then you can actually see the volcano from the facility. Maybe we should put it like this. Facing the facility like that. So that you see it through the windows. There. Oh, yeah. That's going to be perfect. Maybe it comes up a little bit. Like up here. It's going to be the same height as the volcano. But that's okay. Let's see what it looks like. Cool. We need more lights on it. That's cool, though. GSD, what do you think about what I said in my previous message? Uh, what did you say in your previous message? What 
What time is it? Yes, so for the last... For the last 10 minutes or so, we'll go back to Ivory City and we'll do some move-ins. Um, can you please build the pond? Um, I don't know if we'll get to that today. Because I wanted to work on the volcano today. But I love that idea. So maybe we'll have time to do that next week. We need some more lights on the on the facility here. It's too dark at night. Let's climb up to the top of the facility. Look at all those air conditioners. It must get really hot in there. <laughs> okay, so we need some... It's way too dark. We need some lights on this. What do you guys think for lights? Where are our options? These are pretty bright. What if we put... How bright are... Those are up lights. So those could actually be pretty cool down here. We could up light them. Oh, like that. We need more light options in the game. That looks pretty cool though. I just wish it was higher, but we could always build. Oh yeah, we could build it here and then put like a little stand underneath it. You know, like a little pylon or something. Here, let's do this. Don't I have a pillar? Pillar. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the, the T-Rex Kingdom pillar. We'll just put in some brick. We'll do this the old fashioned way. What material do I have on those? Medium stone gray. Okay, so let's pick medium stone gray. Medium stone gray. And then we'll put in some grooved bricks. So we can put a light directly in front of some of these columns. Maybe we'll go like here. Here, let's click and drag. We're gonna turn on overlap, and we're gonna drag these down through the ground. There we go. Okay, then we'll just copy. We'll put the light on here and then we'll just copy it. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's gonna light it up really nice. Okay, so then let's copy this, and we'll just place a few of these around. Try not to get that down here. Maybe we'll do like one here, and then another one here, and then one more here. It's pretty evenly spaced. Yeah, that looks so good. What do you guys think? Bye Maskim, thanks for joining. Can you make arcade cage for for d -res? Max is a good builder. Yeah, he is. You love the models? Glad to hear that, Jaeger. Mm. Yeah, so that's at least lighting up the front. So at night, that should look pretty cool. I kind of want to put some lights on the roof too because it's not very bright up there. What other lights do we have? I love the space lights. Oh, this, that's gonna be. 
How bright do these get? Oh, those turn on at night. I love those, the ones that turn on automatically at night. But of course now it's daytime, so they're not gonna turn on for us. So let's spin the sky to nighttime. Never thought I'd say that when building, but. <laughs> let's make it nighttime so we can see what these lights look like when they when the night when the night comes. Okay. They're very yellow, but I don't really mind that because our other lights are yellow, but also oh cool. But also, you know, the volcano has got lava around it, so it's just like yellow and orange are kind of its thing. I wish I could light up that, like that. Because that looks cool. Maybe a different light would do that better. You like it? Good. Looks beautiful at night. Yes, I agree, it does. And it's gonna look even better over time. What about, what about this light? Oh, that lights it up pretty well. I just really want to showcase the architecture because it's so cool. Oh, we can't center it. Uh. Yeah, I can drop it down inside. Oh, I wish I could center it. That drives me crazy when I can't center it. I guess I could do two, but then it's going to overlap the side. I don't like that I can't center that. That's going to drive me. This one is two. That doesn't really light it up the way I want it to, though. Lighting is tricky, but it can be really cool if you do it right. Yeah, none of these are really going to work the way I want them to. Maybe this one. Still can't center it, though. I think I'm going to have to give up on wanting to center it. Uh, Super Tippy makes some beautiful models. I just shared one of his videos today. Maybe we'll just do, you know we could do two of them, but then they're gonna overlap, they might look weird. What do you guys think about that? It looks kinda cool. I don't hate it. What if I did a whole line? Is that going to be weird? Oh, they don't line up. Mm. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the continuous line? Or do you think it looks better to do them like this? where it's just a P, you know, like just two. Like that. What do you guys think looks better? Continuous line or not a continuous line? I think I prefer this. Either, yeah. Make the light between the pillars. Yeah, I guess it's sort of a up to your own preference. That looks kind of good. And then at night, you'll really be able to see the architecture on that. I kind of want to uplight the ceiling too, so you can see on the inside of there. What are those? What if we do a few of these in here? so that you can see the ceiling detail. Lighting is so cool. <laughs> All right. What if we put them like here, behind each pillar? Make sure they line up. Is that gonna work? Because then you can actually see the detail underneath the, underneath the roof there. 
Neat. I kind of want to hide these lights a little bit down here. So I think my, what I might do then is raise the terrain a little bit. Hope it doesn't damage them. Just so they're a little more hidden, you know? Oh yeah, that's working. There we go. Perfect. And it looks like it's just part of the landscape. Oh wow, look at that. That looks so cool, I love it. Agnes says you should put a continuous line. Yeah, I guess it's sort of a preference thing. I think I like it better like this because it shows each of the pillars separately. But, you know. Max is freaking out up there. Did you guys hear him? Are you sure there's not enough time to build the pond? Um, yeah, we only have four minutes left. We can do that next week, though. Panda says, there is a new jackpack. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Panda. The only jetpack I know of is this one. Is it in the vehicles? Is it in here somewhere? Because we've already used that one, the Agent Heli pack. <gasps> oh! Oh, is this what you're talking about, Panda? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Um, that's amazing. I'm gonna use that on season two, for sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> um, okay, let's move some of you guys in. Because I know you guys have been asking for it. and You've been very patient. I'm just so enthralled by this new jetpack. I'm definitely using this on season two. Okay, let's head to Ivory City and get some of you guys moved in. I feel like we got a lot done. Should we should we to go to the rocket? Let's go to the rocket. Let's actually go to the rocket and fly the rocket to Ivory City. Can we get to the rocket though? Let's fly. It's been a while since we've actually flown the rocket. <laughs> Can't climb up this. Since we've flown the rocket to Ivory City, so let's do it. Did it reconnect? Okay, good. I think we're back. Sorry, guys. Wow, we have 40 viewers right now? Hi. I want to get up in the rocket. How am I going to do that? Come on. <laughs> it's on the top of the building. There we go. Yes! We did it! Okay, let's head to Ivory City. Where is it? Okay. Jaeger says, can you post your new Ivory City on your website? So I will at some point. It's a massive file though. Because it's a beta world, it's a gigabyte. So I don't actually have the space to put it yet. Hi Lego Kid. But uh, we'll figure out how to get that up there someday. Because I do want you guys to have it someday, but I need to do more work on it first. The jetpack back is definitely the best part of the video. <laughs> hey, Pancake Son, what's up? Uh, 
Okay, where are we? Are we in Jurassic World? We're in Jurassic World. All right, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to Ivory City and we'll get some of you guys moved in. Hopefully it won't lag out on us. The world gets pretty laggy. Okay, so save your save your character ideas or your move-ins until we get over there. And then you guys can put them in the chat. And one character per person. Hey, we should, what am I doing? Why aren't we using the jetpack? What am I doing? <laughs> Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Panda, I love this jetpack. Good call. <laughs> oh, man. Here, we need to be watching it as it comes towards us. <laughs> Hopefully we don't hit... Oh, okay, we're going to hit stuff. It's a little hard to control, but... It's cool. Hey, we're not lagging out. That's great. Okay, let's go down. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're gonna drop down in the center of the city. Oh, we're in Wild Style's house. Whoops. Let's go. Okay. Wrong button. <laughs> we gotta finish her house someday. We really do have to finish her house. Let's go down here in the basement. There's a really cool DJ studio down here. Or recording studio or whatever it is. I don't know what you'd call this, but... Isn't it cool? We'll put you guys in here. Okay, who wants to be added? One character, please. No pets. Paintball. Okay. No dragons. <laughs> no dragons. <laughs> please. Okay. That's the paintballer for Andrew Gilbert. That's... Okay, so then Master Wu, all right. Master Wu. Welcome, Master Wu. He's walking out. Um, Blue Space Boy, okay. You're Dan Brickman. Yes, you are. Dr. Carvo. The bounty hunter. You want to be the bounty hunter? Okay. Who, by the way, you guys, I have right here. Police officer. Okay. There you go, Agnes. There's the police officer. Panda says you can go as high as you want. That's cool, Panda. This is PC. Hi. Swamp policeman. Okay. Isn't Wild Style's house cool? <laughs> we gotta finish this. I forgot we built this forever ago. The basement thing here. Matt, or Matt, Max likes to play the drums. <laughs> the bounty hunter's name should be Hunter. Maybe. It's probably going to tie into the story, so I'm not exactly sure what his name is going to be yet. Look at these guys hanging out. There's the bounty hunter. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who did I miss? Bunny suit guy, okay. Bunny. There you go. Her house is getting pretty crowded. Bounty hunter should be Agent Chase's backstory. Maybe. <laughs> He's a little different than Agent Chase, though. Agent Chase is a little more, like, cocky. He's a little more, uh... He thinks really highly of himself. And I'm not sure the bounty hunter is exactly that. 
So they're a little different. Draco Malfoy. I wish we had Draco Malfoy. There is no Draco Malfoy in our character list. <laughs> I've never played Roblox. Jaeger, you love the builds, yeah? I will get Ivory City up on the website at some point. It just, it needs some work, you know, because we haven't finished a lot of these houses and I just feel really weird uploading it unfinished. Hey, it's working really well today though. Look how smooth it is. Some days it works really well. It's the mayor, you guys. Mayor Classic Space. We have to finish her house. I have to finish her house. We have to finish uh, Chinatown. We gotta get rid of the UFOs. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to fix. I gotta finish the ivory tower. The new and improved ivory tower. Should we go to the King's Burger Kingdom? I haven't been there in so long. Let's go to the King's Burger Kingdom. I could use a burger right now. So this morning I went to Starbucks and I got that impossible meat Sam. You know, the impossible, uh, it's not real meat. It's something, I don't know what it is, but it tasted like sausage. I'm trying to eat a little less meat because I feel like there's too much meat in my diet, you know? I'm trying to go like several days a week or at least one or two days a week without meat. I think I'm eating too much meat. <laughs> and here we are in the King's Burger Kingdom. With the flame broiled goodness of delicious meat. Brandon, are you working on the last Lego Dragon Slayer? Not currently. I have a whole pile of notes though. So what I'm going to do with that series, I'm going to make probably two or three more episodes and then it'll be done. It's not going to be a whole full weekly series. It never was, but... I'm gonna make two or three more parts and then we'll complete it. It'll be done. I don't know when that will be though. Not not right now, but we'll finish it. Um, what people do I have? Everyone that's available in the game. So these are the, you can Google if you wanna know which character you want me to add for you. You can just Google um, Lego Worlds minifigs and it will give you a full list. And then you can tell me and I'll pick whichever one. Do you guys want to go to the King's, the Mushroom Kingdom? I haven't been there in like at least a year, maybe longer. Let's make it daytime because you can see better in the caves during the day. There we go. Let's go down to Mushroom Kingdom. I think it's over here. <gasps> there it is. There's Mushroom Kingdom. I wonder if anyone's down here. I don't see Madame Cremini or Mistress Portabella. <laughs> Forgot what their names are. <laughs> They're not down here. This isn't Mario Bros. No, it's not. DSG, you have a new character, Disco Dude. You know, it doesn't work. I gotta figure out how to make that work because I can't get these new characters to work. Watch what happens when I try to select Disco Dude. And I can't even place him. This one. It's just like, all I get is the wig. <laughs> and then some of them, some of them make the head, like some of them make you headless. Which one does that? Not that one. They just do weird stuff. I don't know why it's, why it does that. I can't get them all to work though. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. Those all work, of course. Weird. Yeah, I'm not sure why it does that. I couldn't tell you. I'm just glad the game is not glitching out on us and it's letting us go through these caves without any problem. I've never explored all these caves before, you guys. 
We've explored only a small part of them, but our gold dragon Ragnarok lives down here somewhere. I think down that way. Okay, why don't we get out of here? We're gonna skydive. Hey, there's Elle's house. Um, okay, does anyone else want to get moved in before we end the stream? He has a little penguin! Hi, buddy! Here, take a fish! Penguins are cute. To fix the select troublemaker and then select the character you want. To fix that, select the troublemaker and then select the character you want. Troublemaker. Where's the... Where's the troublemaker? Is it in the characters tab? I think I saw the different colored troublemakers, but I don't know why it's not. Okay, you want to be Mac McCloud. Okay, everything boy, sure. Let's drop Mac McCloud down for you. Mac McCloud. He's pretty cool. There you go, buddy. Welcome. Blue Spaceman for Fairly Odd SpongeBob House. In where you change your character, you're in the wrong category. Oh. In here? You can be the troublemaker? Also, don't spawn the troublemakers. If I remember right, you can't delete them ever. Ooh. Um, if you guys have ideas for what to build, the best place to put those is on Discord. And the link now works. Customizer. Yeah, I, I haven't I've seen that on other people's videos, but I have not seen the troublemaker in my customizer. I don't know. Cole's did a video of what I mean. Yeah, I'll have to watch Cole's video. I watched it a while back, but I didn't... I don't think I paid attention to the part about the troublemakers. Because I remember he was showing how you couldn't get all the characters until you did that, and I haven't done that yet. One of these makes makes it headless and you know how I discovered it it's funny because you know I'm working on I'm working on episode 4 of season 2 and there's gingerbread men right they're evil gingerbread men and suddenly look at that <laughs> so I used that to my advantage so be prepared for some scary headless gingerbread men in season 2 <laughs> <laughs> that the uh, bounty hunter is going to have to contend with. When is the next LEGO live stream? Every Wednesday, this same time. I'm thinking of moving, though. I'm thinking of moving the Bricksburg streams to Saturday. But we're getting a pretty good turnout today, so I don't know if I will. It seems like it's a pretty good turnout right now. <laughs> Does he look scary? The headless gingerbread man? And when you go into first person, what exactly are you seeing through? You can't be seeing through his eyes. There's Grog. Hi, Grog. Where's Lindor? Hey, look, the bounty hunter's here. That's the one we dropped. I don't have the troublemakers beginning to show up. Yeah, I don't know why mine aren't showing up. Whenever you get near the hotel, the whole world just slows down. Oh no! Oh 
<laughs> when did I do that? <gasps> Look at all the damage on the hotel I have to fix. Great. That's some serious damage. I hope the lobby's not damaged. Oh, the lobby seems fine. That's good. <laughs> Select the Roman Emperor. He runs really fast. It's not alphabetical. It's not alphabetical. Where is he? Is it because I'm the gingerbread man and it's not really working? It does seem like he is running a little bit faster. So I don't really know. Uh, will you put me in Bricksburg? So we've already left Bricksburg and we're not really adding characters to Bricksburg right now. But I'm happy to put you in Ivory City if you want to be added supposed to run fast I don't know maybe just because I haven't really because of the characters aren't these characters aren't working maybe that's why I don't know who knows the gladiator what happens if you switch oh my gosh <laughs> it's very glitchy Wait, is that one new? I don't remember that one. Research Institute Chemist? I don't remember that one. Looks a little bit like Rhonda, but it's not exactly Rhonda. Okay, guys. Not new. Really? <laughs> I guess I don't recognize it. Oh, wait, I think I... No. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. I still have Giselle. You still owe Giselle a new tower. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I do. I do owe her a new tower. Okay, why don't we end the stream with flying... Speaking of which, I haven't been out there in forever. So let's actually go out there and say hi to her. I honestly haven't been there in forever. So why don't we hop on the jetpack? Let's hop on the jetpack and go out there really quick. Just for fun. Jetpack. The new jetpack. I've been wanting to fly this around. So let's do it. I should say fly it around more. I've been wanting to fly it around more. Okay. <laughs> Look at Max. Oh gosh. It's gonna be hard to get out of there. There we go. Okay, we need to turn around that way. And go way up here. I hope it doesn't lag out on us. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Oh, it's gonna lag out on us, isn't it? Okay, let's do this. Let's save and exit world and we'll go back in and hopefully that will fix it. Sometimes when you keep it open for too long, it just like stops working. Brandon, where is Sheila? She's in Jurassic World. We saw her hanging out there a little bit ago. Hi, Tatiana, how are you? You want to be the pirate. Okay, we'll add you really quick. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Jaeger, yeah. Are you asking about Bricksburg? Yes, I will post Bricksburg on the website. Make Giselle's tower in a new, in a designing and building the episode. It's a good idea. I should have done that when I first built it. Okay, so you want to be the pirate. Let's get you added really quick. Pirate. Pirate. There you go. Wait, is that a new one? Who's that? That's definitely new. That pirate is new for sure. <laughs> okay. Let's get our jetpack out. Jet. Jetpack. I wish they would have added all this stuff to the game for reals. And not just like kept it in a patch that you can't even use. Okay, hopefully we won't lag out this time. I shouldn't have started near the hotel. Ooh. Maybe it'll work. The hotel like causes my entire world to just like really slow down, but I'm not ever gonna get rid of the hotel because it's so cool. Make a showroom with every vehicle in this game. That's a good idea. Remember you guys, the best place to put ideas is not in the chat here. Although you can say them here. The best place to put them is on Discord. So we can keep track of them there. The Black Tower is pretty far away. But with this awesome jetpack, we can get there pretty fast, I think. How did you copy the Eiffel Tower? I think I had to copy it in sections. But it's there in Bricksburg if you want it. Look at all the chests under the water. There's so many. Now it seems to be loading just fine. the snowy biome. I think we're pretty close to it now. <gasps> yep. There it is. Yeah, I should have done a designing a building episode of this. It took me a long time to build this thing. <laughs> it took me a really long time to build it. Giselle's rat is here, and some of the some of the skeleton army is still here. And of course the dragons are all here. I don't know if she's here anywhere. I don't see her. The alien strike ship is like embedded into the into the wall. <laughs> You'll definitely see her in... There's more of her army. You'll definitely see her in Season 2, because I like Giselle. She's a really fun character to do. So you'll see her in Season 2. The French glowing rat. Yep. Chevalier. There he is. <laughs> hey, little guy. I remember when Giselle freaked... Or she uh, faked out Sheila. She's going in here, and she's like, This way. And there was like a trap over here or something? I don't know. <laughs> that was a fun episode to make. A few episodes. Episode 49 and 50, I think? Or 50 and 51? Maybe she's down here. No, maybe not. <gasps> oh, there's Chevalier. <laughs> He's in the cage still. <laughs> Okay, guys, this was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Are you ever going to continue designing and building a Lego world, says Lego Kid. Uh, yes, I am. But I can't really do that and Lego World Season 2 at the same time. 
Lego World Season 2 requires about 30 hours a week of my time. I know that sounds like a lot, but writing all the dialogue and filming all the scenes and then doing all the editing. So it requires a big chunk of my time. So I can't do both. So I'm gonna have to do either one or the other. The new dark tower should have red lights and ha and lava all around the tower. It's a good idea. What I'll probably do is take like a few weeks off of, like we'll take some breaks while we're making season two, you know? Like I'll put out, you know, maybe 15 episodes and then we'll take a break for like a month. And then maybe I'll do some designing episodes in the break. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you for Minecraft on Twitch later today. All right. Bye, guys.